Hello everyone, I'm Cassandra and I'm mom and this is Millennial Mom and today we are here to review a few days late but we're still here because we moved into a new place. Mm -hmm. Ready to Love season three episode four Boss Moves and um this episode was really good and we're starting to see some people's true colors really show. Mm -hmm. So let's get into the review. All right, so it is actually the men who are going to decide which two women are going to go home because last week, I forgot who we got rid of, David and Raymond. Raymond. Mm -hmm. So this week, I'm really interested to see which women are going to go home. For right now, it seems that Naya and Chris are getting along really well together. Oh, yeah. Who else? Um, Denise and Calfani so far, from what he's saying in the beginning of the episode, yeah. they're getting along well um, together. Joy and Jay are getting along, mm -hmm, even though they're both mingling. So let's move on to Denise and Calfani. Now, we see them, you know, they're either at the pool or they're playing pool. They're playing pool because they came back from Tommy's Tavern when Tommy gave them the advice of, you know, don't just go for attraction, go for chemistry. I and agree. I guess so far, Calfani is having that chemistry with Denise. And of course, Denise is head over heels for him. Mm. But <laughs> Denise's so called foe, Adriana or Adriana? Adriana comes over, like, oh, let me steal him for a few minutes. Uh, Miss Adriana did not just steal. She was over here, hugged up, legs crossed over him. Mm -hmm. And Denise. She wasn't having it. She called her floozy and all this <laughs> other stuff. But you know what? I'm kind of jumping ahead a little bit, but we're going to touch on it again later on mm -hmm. in the episode. Uh, one of her friends, Shay, she did the same thing too. She didn't necessarily call him over, but she was like, ooh, Calfani, he's my number one. I see uh -huh. you all loud and stuff mm -hmm. next to Denise. So I'm like, Denise, well, what you already, the issue? You already know the issue. The issue is... Adriana or Adriana, her age, that was the big topic. Well, one of the big topics for her. She's the youngest lady of the group. So maybe Denise feels a little bit of a, I don't know, like competition or like, why is she here? But she's here for love too. And she's looking to get with your man because her man, Denise's man, is her number two. That's what she said. <laughs> Another person we see trying to make some moves because I feel like she doesn't want to get eliminated is Alicia. So Alicia is with Brian and Edwin, but she wants to go for Brian because Brian is more her type. Mm -hmm. But even though Brian in this scene is kind of giving her like conversation, being nice, he said something in his confessional like, you know, it all has to be genuine. So yeah. we all know how production can be. I wonder if he was using that genuine, you know, talk for her or just in general because it kind of doesn't really seem like he feels her like that. I just automatically got the he wasn't feeling her vibe I think he went on the date to mingle because clearly he's the mink your boo is the mingler <laughs> on here so far what you're supposed to be doing true but when they were having their date even though yes we're jumping ahead but still even when they have their date and when they're talking we'll touch on it again later that the conversation really came from Alicia and Brian just kind of went on for a ride like oh yeah Oh, okay, so I think, you know, yeah, he saw her in the mix, but um, didn't really... even for her? Yeah, I don't think so, but I could be wrong. You know who else is trying to mingle and keep from leaving and still started the pot a little bit too? Simone. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know, pick your poison, Simone. Either you want to mix and mingle with the men and get to know people, or you want to be nosy and stir the pot and uh, help your chance of elimination more and more because what <laughs> we see later on, I agree... Wasn't cool. Speaking of Simone, Simone, Rashid, Edwin, Adriana, mm -hmm. Calfani, and Denise, they all had like this pool party date set up mm -hmm. all by Rashid, may I just add. And they seemed like they were having a good time. Denise, of course, was taking over everything. I don't know if she was taking it over because, you know, she's like a track coach. So she's all about competition. It could be or about competition. Adriana was there. She don't really like her. And... Who knows? It was a whole bunch of things. The competition, Adriana, just whatever. But I think she was also showing off for the men. But I thought your boo was Calfani. You didn't need to do all that. So they decided to play volleyball, right? 
And so Denise is going back and forth lobbying, shooting, dunking pretty much everything. And, you know, the ladies are looking like, wow, like, can we get a turn pretty much? I mean, she's just like having a ball. I would have been cool. I'm like, you know what? If you want to be in and out the water like that, you can go ahead and be eating out the water. I'll be over here chilling. So they get out the pool. Denise and Calfani go over to have their them time. Yep. And Rashid, Edwin... Adriana and Simone all sit down to have a conversation. And this is when Adriana talks to Rashid and was like, you know, how are you and Denise's vibes? Are y'all cool? Do you guys get along? He's like, yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing between us. And she was like, well. <laughs> right. <laughs> I have something to tell you. Denise thinks you're narcissistic because Pretty much you went to college, you light skin in a fraternity. And Rashid was like, I am hurt by this. Like, lady, I just met you. Mm -hmm. And you're already judging me because I'm light skin. Like, no one's judging you because you're a dark skin female. Like, why are we even still basically doing this? And everyone who was there kind of felt the same way. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I did too. Because it's like, okay, we know her background, even though they didn't know at the time. With her ex, and I guess he reminds her of him. But you don't even know the suit. You didn't even take the time to have conversation, especially like that first episode. Yeah. When he was there at the table, he wanted to get her a drink. She's like, no, nah, I'll get my own. Like, man, that wasn't even necessary. Like, exactly. she didn't like him from day one or Adriana from day one. So it just seems like there's a lot of things that Denise needs to work through. Definitely so. And, you know, I can understand not picking up on someone's vibe when you first meet them. They don't even have to say anything. But, I mean, she is so put off by Rashid and him being narcissistic or what she feels to be narcissistic mm -hmm. that she won't even talk to him. And I guess anyone who talks or associates with him, she was like, oh, like, pushes them <laughs> no, away too. No, not anyone, just Adriana. Right. So, <laughs> you know, while they're having the conversation... Rashid finally said, you know, to Simone, like, have you ever gotten this yourself? You know, because you're a light-skinned lady, too. And she's like, yes, I've experienced that. Like, you know, mm -hmm. men tend to think that she's mixed and she's not. And they have told her that, you know, um, they don't even want to date a dark-skinned woman. And mm -hmm. then Adriana said the same thing. Like, she was told yeah. that, you know, they don't want to date her because she's dark-skinned. And that is a problem across the board in our community about that colorism thing. And... I think for Denise to have put these labels, allegedly these labels on Rashid. Not allegedly. She well, did. You know, she has an issue with lots of things. Colorism, narcissistic. Like, how would she know he went to college? Like, he's pretty much successful from what we see. So, mm -hmm. if that reminds you of something that you don't want, then what are you looking for? Now, back to Denise and Calfani in the cut doing her own thing. They're having fun. They're diving. They're giving massages and whatever. And then Denise is like, you know, I saw that you had some company. Mm -hmm. You know, she, she tried to throw that in on a sly, but Denise doesn't have a sly personality. She got a sly, slick mouth, but her person like beat around the bush is not there. Mm -hmm. So when they're having the conversation, it's like, oh, yeah, I saw you, you know, laid up with Adriana, her leg all over mm -hmm. you, stuff like that. He smiles at everybody. I'm like, dang, you know. I don't like calling people a hater because everybody's not a hater, but she is showing some hateristic characteristics. What flavor is her haterade? <laughs> well, Calfani's like, you know, I'm just trying to mix and mingle with everybody. Like, you know, there's nothing to it. And Denise is like, well, you know, the vibe is right here. Yeah. <laughs> when she said that and he said what he had to say, I already felt his vibe. He was getting completely turned off. And I think anybody would too. I mean, yeah, you know, you want to secure that as your man. But it just kind of seems, like I said earlier, it's only when it's Adriana and not somebody else. So now we see other ladies join the after pool party date. You have Winter, you have Shay, and Rashid is in the pool. He's talking to Edwin about, so, you know, you have former military experience and former sheriff experience or whatever he was talking about. Like, you know, did you see any corruption or, you know, different things that, you know, wasn't up and up pretty much? He was like, yeah, I had. He gave his stories about living in a certain neighborhood, how sometimes response time could be slower than normal. See, you can honestly just start Stop right there because <laughs> while he was talking during that I completely stopped listening and it was so funny because I told my mom like 
I would have just stopped listening right there. It's not because I didn't want to hear what he had to say. It's just something about him just keep going on and on. I'm just like turned off. And Shay obviously felt the same way too. I was like, see, I know I cannot bend the Now see, you know way. what I take that as? Because <laughs> I personally, and you know, your boo is Brian. I would be like Edwin because one, he's a chef, he can cook. I like to cook, cook pretty well too. And I like a man who can talk and hold conversation. And that is one thing that Edwin said. If you're going to be in a conversation with him, you need to conversate. And I feel the same exact way. I know that's <laughs> off topic. And so he noticed that Shay went off to the side. And you know what? Mm -hmm. He was turned off by that. Also in the mix at this pool party, Winter. We didn't bring this up earlier, but Winter and Jay had like a really quick date scene. Mm -hmm. And Winter seems to like Jay. Jay called her Halle Berry with their hair. So, you know, that could be another connection besides Jay and Joy. Yeah. But this is something that Winter also notices and makes her insecure. So at the pool party, when she noticed that Jay wasn't really talking to her, it was more so on Joy. Yeah. Winter was like, mm, I'm going to have to go pull him to the side and have a conversation. But this conversation, whatever this could be, now I'm going to use the term allegedly. Because <laughs> he had his shirt off and they walked into her room. They kept telling production to camera people, oh, we're just having a conversation. Yeah, but we're he, just having a conversation. But he had his shirt off because he was at the pool, so his shirt was off. Well, either Simone was an at the pool party or Simone didn't get the memo because Simone saw this and she instantly thought something was about to go down with his hand in the cookie jar from what she said. But I don't, I don't think anything went down like that. Maybe a kiss or two, but I'm not. I don't think anything. Like yeah, that I happened. think it was a kiss or two as well. But with Simone, allegedly, right? You know, <laughs> maybe she saw this because you know later scenes with Joy and Jay when she comes around to tell Joy what happened. You know, they said, oh, you on your fifth wardrobe change. So clearly she changes multiple times a day. So she must have been coming out of a room to see what was happening unless she is the resident tattletale. Joy was on a date with Edwin, who was still talking her ear off. And I would have stopped listening as well. But that's <laughs> clearly that's his thing is to talk and communicate. And I don't have no problem with that because <laughs> your boy is Brian who's mingling and Edwin is still looking for somebody <laughs> such as myself. But anyway. Mm -hmm. While they're on a date, uh, I found it interesting that Edwin described Joy as like, you know, a foreign car model, like a Maserati, you know, doesn't need any marketing or advertising. You just know what it is. And there she is. So I think he's vibing with her, too. But I still think he's a little reserved because you don't really see him really one on one dates with too many people. Mm -hmm. But he took the time out with Joy. And I think that we said this before that most of the men are vibing with joy so maybe it's the it factor winter said here. everybody's vibing with joy moving on we see brian now brian has a date with alex and this is the second man that is taking a date to go paddle boarding canoeing or whatever yeah. they're doing a water activity because <laughs> that's all they really have is water well i know but it's different than being at the pool is getting away so they get out to the lake and you know there's different little things that come up uh you know, if you can invite somebody to the lake, I would expect you know how to canoe or paddleboard. That is not true. <laughs> they are on a resort island and they just have to make do with what they have. And they just have lots of water activities. I think those two would be the couple for me. Brian and Alex. Mm -hmm. Just because from last episode, that dare game. Mm -hmm. I think so. Now, they talk about what they're looking for and what they're missing in life. And you know what? Brian said that one thing that he wants more of is time with his three-year-old daughter. And, you know, he's upset that he doesn't spend as much time with her as he would like. And that's when I was like, oh, you know, three years old, that's a good age with their personality. So I don't know exactly what he said. I don't remember what he said, but it was the point of what would it take or what would you do to make you hold back from me? And her thing was vulnerability. Like she needs to be more vulnerable because she knows she has walls up. But I think everybody has walls up to a point. It just depends on what level your walls are and what you're behind. You know, like Denise Hurt, she's behind a steel wall, but we're not <laughs> talking about her. Well, Denise is not behind a steel wall. She's <laughs> open to Calfani. But Alex said, you know, a trigger for me is when a man has his phone face down. Is that you? Do you do that? He's like, yeah, I do that sometimes. She's like, see that right there? But she knows that she 
needs to be more vulnerable, more open. It seems like she's ready to be open with Brian. And Brian's like, well, yeah, I see you got your walls up. You know, I got that Brian magic for his little boo thing. I was like, Brian, I see we have company. Yeah, you do. You're boo has <laughs> company. No, I'm just joking. But they look cute together. I feel like they have a very genuine connection because later on, when we see him have that date with Alicia, because mm -hmm. Alicia set it up because she saw that he picked Alex to go on a date. So she was like, well, I'm just going to get my time in anyways. So they had the date, had the cook's wine, and they didn't really seem to have like in-depth conversation coming from his side, only coming from her side. And you know what I noticed? Alicia says that she... Like most of us, male or female, you know, if you've been single for a long time, of course you want some company or companion, a long-term relationship. Of course you do. But when she's talking, though, and they talk about her kids, you know, she's like, you know, I love my kids, but I'm ready for someone to come along, really, and be with me. And Brian says, so how would your kids take a stepdad? She's like, oh, my son is ready for a stepdad. Now, hard stop. <laughs> this was you last episode. It was. So... You can talk about your kids, and she's talked about her kids a few times. When Raymond was talking about his kids, was the difference between having two or three to five? Because Raymond didn't say nothing about having a stepmom for his kids, but she has always said that she wanted someone for her kids. And I really hate to say this, but Alicia to me comes across pushy, hard around the edges, and is looking for the right now. So last week when David was eliminated from the conversation when she was like, oh no, She's doing the same thing, in my opinion, to Brian. I would have to agree. There's no really big difference on that part. Let's go on to the scene where everyone's at the the fire pit making some s'mores mm -hmm. with Denise and Adriana because Adriana said, you know what? There's been tension between me and Denise and I kind of just want to get to the bottom of it. And she, Adriana to me, didn't really talk about what their differences were she more so brought up her beef or whatever you want to call it with Rashid and yeah. that is where Denise already put up a defense wall even though because she already don't like Adriana. I mean the body language was there right when she said oh let's sit down because Denise already didn't like the fact that she took her man to sit down with her leg across already was salty so when they had the conversation just about everything they were talking about like why do you think he's narcissistic why this why that and denise pretty much was like well it is what it is boo like why are you checking me mm -hmm. like if that's your man you should be confident like just sitting all like and i'm like you get ready to get up to swing on her because that's the vibe i got very defensive very like rtg Mm -hmm. ready to go. Denise finally told Adriana about her DV relationship, how she was missing, just all those things that happened to her. And of course, we all feel bad for her and the things that she had to go through because I'm sure it was traumatic. Mm -hmm. That is not the issue. And Denise can't see past that. And that's what Adriana was trying to get her to see. And I think Adriana at the end, because her voice started to get a little shaky, whether she was frustrated or just ready to get out the conversation, they just ended it there. It's like, okay, well, you good? Denise was saying, you know, what what you drinking? Oh, white wine? Okay, let's go. We mm -hmm. good? Like, we good? We good? I'm like, no, clearly <laughs> you guys aren't good. How exactly. How you said you're good? But we already know that, and it's going to be a problem. Could be next episode or later on down the episode. But Rashid felt good about this. Rashid was like, okay, Adriana is my ride or die. She's over here checking people for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you know, Denise is a woman, and Rashid is a man, but I kind of feel like Rashid should have said something instead of Adriana. Well, I agree with you because, you know, the conversation with Denise and Adriana, Adriana should have brought the issues that they had and not brought on Rashid's issue. He should present it to Denise to see what the real problem is. Mm -hmm. So closing out the episode, bringing it back to Alicia and Brian's date. Brian walks Alicia to her door and she feels so giddy about this. She's happy. Mm. She's like, you know, I already know I'm his top pick. You know, uh, uh, what's her name? Alex is a sweet girl and all, but you know, she's no Alicia. I was like, oh, you think so? Because I didn't get that vibe. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Brian said he'll be back in 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So I actually thought he was going to come back in 20 minutes. But next thing you know, we see him. Go across to Alex's door, basically to tell her good night, have a good night kiss. But who 
would see them together. Another nosy Nelly. Shay. And Shay, I like Shay. How but, do you like Shay? Because I like Shay. We barely seen her in this whole episode. <laughs> like when I saw well, her, I liked her in the beginning of the episode. Okay, <laughs> but Shay said, you know, that's her job to be nosy. No, it's not Shay. Your job on here is to find love on Ready to Love Last Resort. Shay went to Alicia's door to let her know that her potential new boo is at Alex's the door. company's door, mm-hmm. <laughs> basically, and they went to go tiptoe. And I guess they saw whatever they saw, but I don't know what they saw because next thing you know, we see Brian come around the other way while they were down there. So I'm like, what did they see? Well, what they see is what we saw. He gave three goodnight kisses in the doorway. So maybe she saw a goodnight kiss too, because clearly to see anything, the door would have to be open, right? But my thing with this is it hasn't been 20 minutes. He might be coming back. He just made a pit stop on the way to his he room. He wasn't coming back. I'm just saying he could have came back. All right. So it looks like nobody wants to eliminate this episode. And I was really hoping for elimination. I could think of like four people, <laughs> women, that needs to go. Well, I know it's two. Only two at a time. Okay. <laughs> well, we're just going to have to see who's going to get sent home probably next week. And if they're going to continue on that light skin, dark skin conversation that they are already starting to bring up a little bit more. But let us know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments down below. I thought it was a pretty good episode. What do you think, Mom? I did too. It was interesting. And the nosy Nellies wasn't feeling that. Simone's already on the radar of being sent home or the bottom or whatever it is. And now Shay coming out the woodwork doing the same thing. Like, how do you expect someone, a man, to trust you if you're going back telling the business? All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. You become a subscriber to our channel because we are going to go live next week talking about all the mess that has been going down on Ready to Love. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and as always, live simply, be grateful.